Psalm 67, 5 to 7. I welcome everybody in the presence of the Lord this morning. And I say, how are you doing? How was your night? How is your family? Are you enjoying the blessing of the Lord? Do you enjoy the teaching of this month? If you enjoy this, I enjoy it. You are about to enjoy more this morning. In Jesus' name. Psalm 67, 5 to 7. Let the people praise thee. Oh God, let all the people praise thee. Then shall the earth yield increase. And God, even our God shall bless us. God shall bless us at all the end of the earth. Shall fear him. Get ready. As a church, individual, God's servant, for a blessing that will make the earth to fear our God. The blessing that will make the head to fear our God is coming to us now. Can I hear your beautiful amen? In Acts chapter 16, verse 24 to 25. As they began to praise, the prisoner heard them, and the prison gate were broken. So this morning, we are looking at the praise that triggers the blessing of the Lord. The praise that triggers the blessing of the Lord. I want us to understand that the presence of God today and yesterday will eventually become a carrier of blessing tomorrow. If you are a praiser today, you will become a blessing tomorrow. And I'm going to show you three people in the Bible who practiced praise and they became a generational blessing tomorrow. Number one, we had a man called Abraham. Abraham, get off get up himself and began to praise God. And as he began to praise God, in Romans chapter 4 verse 20, 18, he says stagger not at the promise of the Lord. If you don't stagger, God will gather your blessing for you. He stagger not at the praise of the Lord. He was giving God glory that him that has said it is able to do. As he was praising God, God turned his yesterday sorrow, today sorrow, to tomorrow Isaac. So, if you can praise God, because you know that God is God, God will give you your tomorrow, Isaac. I am praying for somebody here. By the praise you are about to give God this morning, your Isaac testimony will come into your hands. Financial testimony will come into your hands. Your miracle card testimony will enter into your hands. Your talent and testimony will enter into your hands. Let me hear you loud and say, man. Number two. We had a man called Paul and Silas. They were locked into the prisons. They began to praise. In Acts chapter 16, verse 24 to 26. As they began to praise, the prison heard them and said, I don't want people like you. People like you don't supposed to be here. If you know how to praise God, badness cannot house you as a prison. If you know how to praise God, poverty cannot hold your life down. If you know how to praise down, you will excel where others are failing. As they began to praise, the Bible said the prisoner heard them, and they are praising war, and, they are, and the prisoner heard them, and the prison door to open, and their chain fell off from their hand. Let me say this. Any praise that your situation does not hear, your testimony will never come. Can I say that again? If your situation cannot understand your praise, your praise cannot understand your testimonies. But they began to praise. And everything was done to them as a testimony. Number three, man who praised God yesterday and today and they got their testimony tomorrow, Jesus Christ. He was praising God in the prison. Until God said, in the prison of the grave, and God said, My son, you are not supposed to be here. Resurrect. And Jesus can resurrect. So as you praise God today, we shall enjoy resurrection testimony. Your amen is not louder. Your amen is not louder. You enjoy resurrection testimony. As we have mentioned these three persons, if they can do praise, then you don't have any option. If they can do praise, then we have to praise God. Praise flung out 
everything buying and selling from our lives. He, 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 he beats them out. Praise to God. Is anybody here this morning who is saying that, Lord, I thank you for my yesterday. I thank you for today. But my tomorrow, I am going to be a billionaire. Tomorrow, I am going to be, you are going to be a political appointee. The doors that they turn, they are closed against you. God is going to open it. If you believe it, say your loudest, amen. That is why you must praise God. As you praise God this morning, God will go to that foundation of witches and wizards. If you go to the foundation of your family, I want you to stand up and say amen to the prayer. And it will shake your name out of that list. It will shake your name out of that list. Can I hear your loudest, amen? Somebody say, I will praise God. I will praise God. And he will bless me. He will turn my story around. Somebody take your seat in God's presence. That is, if you don't stagger on, on the promise of God today, you will see a better tomorrow. Proverbs chapter 4, verse 18. He said, The part of the just is like a shining light that shine them unto the perfect day. Please, I cause every spirit of distraction now. Listen to this word of God now. Look at me. I'm mean, listening to the word. Hebrews 13, verse 8. Jesus is same yesterday, today, and forevermore. God is looking for our praise. And if he can see our praise, he will raise us up. Praise! Raise you from a beggar to a supplier. Praise! Raise you from, us, from a single lady to a married lady. If praise raise you, nobody will play with your missed call. He prays. Let me say this one. If Jehovah God raised you, the altar of your father's house and your mother's house, they will never look for you anymore. And because you are praising God this morning, I see God giving us victory in the name of Jesus. I am excited with the testimony we have from our students, our, our children this morning. This is a very powerful one. That is what praise can do. I want to encourage somebody this morning. Stop looking at what is not working. Look at the God that is working. He's with me always. He's with me all time. He's my lovely friend. My savior all the time. It is with me always. It is with me all time. He's my loving friend. My savior all the time. So if you praise God for yesterday and today, then God will pray, God will give you a testimony for tomorrow. He will give you your testimony for tomorrow. Under God's praise, under God, a praise of God cannot see stagnation tomorrow. It's not possible. I remember those days when I was in winners. You see us dancing, praising God. People were laughing at me in those days. Can I tell you all those who laugh at me today? They are looking for me for prayer points. Because if you are a praiser of God, your life cannot be abandoned to shame. It is not possible. Under God, a praiser of God will never see stagnation today or tomorrow. Because praise provides promotion, promo provides liftings, and provides grace. If you, are the, if you are the one God is talking about this morning, say your loudest, Amen. If you know today, from today, your confession is over. Say your loudest. Amen. Amen. If there is anyone whose tomorrow is still confused, I prophesy to you, your tomorrow shall be best. Your tomorrow shall be best. If you are, if you are, if you are the one God is talking about, say your loudest. Amen. Amen. Walk to seven every person here and do something prophetically and tell them, your tomorrow shall be glorious. See my God turn it around There are so many, many, many times I have seen my God turn it around Turn it, turn it I have no my God turn it around See my God turn it around Oh, I am saying to you, your tomorrow shall be best Our tomorrow shall be clear I have my God turn it around Two, 
to understand that any time we praise God, God eventually raises us beyond what others think that we can pass through. I wrote something as I say, the blessing turn evil wishes to good wishes. You are too heavily blessed to be under any evil wish, evil wishes. We call them witch because they wish you evil. If the blessing of God is upon you, there is no carpet of curses that can bury you. If the blessing is upon you, there is no sun, sun on the earth that can make you a cause. And this morning, somebody is living here with blessing. Somebody is, here, is living here with blessing. Somebody is living here with blessing. Say your loudest, Amen. If that blessing is for you, say your loudest, Amen. If the word of God that I'm sharing with you this morning is for you, say your loudest, Amen. You are living here with the blessing of the Lord in the name of Jesus Christ. Your bless, your business shall be blessed. Your life shall be blessed. For thou hast said in the heart, I will ascend on high. I will exalt my throne. Isaiah 14, verse 13. The blessing make it to ascend high. High in life. And last week we are, we know we and last when I said we spoke about the power in blessing. And I said, the blessing brings good news, daily good news. You move from one good news to good news. Do you know that there are some people who look at your timeline to see what is happening again? We are waiting something to happen. But I want them to, they will wait until the year that God has blessed you with private jets. They will wait until God, they see that God has blessed you with the best business in Cross River State. That is a praise of God. Their case is only different. Praise make it to pass through what others cannot pass through. You just pass through it. So I cherish the whole long across. Let me just sing this one. Do I walk to the valley snow? I feel no evil Lord. Thank you, Holy Spirit. Thy the one you steal my soul. My heart is lost in you. So the blessing of the Lord raises you and makes your case to be different. Me, I don't know about you. My case is different. No matter what is happening to my father, children, my mother, children, my own case is different. My children' case is different. My wife' case is different. My mother, my junior brother, my only one, our case is different. Somebody say it very loud and huh? Is your case different this morning? If your case different, say your loudest, say amen. And let's look at people that their case were different. Abraham's case was different. Everybody in his family were dying. Genesis chapter 9, chapter 10, verse chapter 11 also. Taran died, Miran died, all of them were dying. But God said, no, the blessing is on you, Abraham. You can't die like that. And the Lord spoke to Abraham. Get it from your father. Get, from that, get out from that place that everybody is dying. I will show you where you should go. And I will bless you. Isaac also. The case was different. The more he dug the way, the more water comes out. Until it became a national issue to people. The governor and the president cannot sleep. What is happening to this man? Is this man coming to buy our own land? There are some blessings that comes to you. Even those who think they have money, when they see you, they have to bow to you. Because the blessing is highly, highly important. Highly important. Jacob also, the blessing came on him. And he moved from, from a man called Jacob. He became a, a powerful nation today. Israel. How many of you have seen Israel before? Israel is just like Cross River State. But very powerful. One time somebody sent a joke that Nigeria is threatening Israel. I said, please, better save us if I run to Cameroon. Nobody threatens and goes country. Gaza, you see what they did to Gaza. They caused colossal damage to Gaza. Gaza, Palestine, Syria. All of them, they are on their toes now. I heard, I have one video clip. They sent bomb 
Okay, captain is there. Maybe he will be able to tell us more. They sent bomb to Israel. As we are about entering Israel, the bomb turned back, back to center. Have you seen how they do back to center? And went back to those who shot it. Bing, 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 boom! Blew all of them. <laughs> because I know that the word of God is so heavy that whatever is happening now, whatever is happening right now, the word has made it happen before it happens. However, yet this, because you are representing your family here, eh? Your case shall be different by today's praise. Things to note. Every praise of God are erased, abolished, eliminated, expunged, obliterated. Sorry, we are speaking English this morning. Expitated. Disannulled. Removed. Abolished. From the Hebrew books of Distractions. In Tommy 29, verse 20, you see there. All what God said there. Daniel 12, 1 to 3 is there. Revelation chapter 20, verse 3. He says, There shall be no death. Say amen. There shall be no weeping. There shall be no tears. He said, The Lord shall be our light. When you are a praise of God, that becomes your testimony. However, how does praise trigger out the blessing of the Lord? Let me run very fast. So we can go into the business. Practical is superior than theory. Through the art of kingdom service, when you are kingdom minded, minded and you are a present of God, God will change your story. I heard this testimony of, a, of, a, uh, of, of, of our sister that said he was sweeping the church and God did something in his life. When you give yourself to the kingdom of God, you see the manifestation of the power of God. Zachariah and Elizabeth, they were praising God. As they were praising God, the Lord, the Lord appeared to him and his wife and gave them John the Baptist. Somebody is about to leave the service with your John the Baptist testimony. There are testimonies that you can't hide. There are testimonies you can't carry with your hands. And I testimony that you are not the one to say. People are the one to say about it. I am praying for somebody today. Testimony that your hand cannot carry. The Lord is putting that testimony in your hand right now. Say your loud and say, man. A woman worshiped with us. She was having issue with her husband. And the marriage was already collapsed. Worship with us on is it Sunday or Wednesday? Okay, Sunday. And he was angry with me. You know, the way if you follow my life, you'll be angry. He says, Sir, I send you a message and I call you. You don't even care about me. I say, How many people I care for? I said, Don't be angry. I said, What you do? Let me carry you, give my wife. I said, My wife, call her a number. And I pray with her. Short prayers. Came back on Wednesday with a smiling, beautiful, holy face. I said, Sir, my husband that I told him I want to come and see him. And he said, he doesn't want to see me. Told me to come and meet him where he is. He said, I'm very excited. I see that is not enough. Travel from here to meet her husband. I saw a chat with my wife. Please don't be holding testimony of people when they send you testimony. You are not the door of it. I have to check her chat. And I saw a testimony. And what is it saying there? I am happy. I am laughing where I am now. Kingdom service. But look at it. Do you remember her testimony? He said she followed off evangelism on Monday. Immediately finished from the evangelism. As if they removed Juju, the, you know, the place, the husband is, I don't want to mention the place. If you are mentioning the place, you know that that is the headquarter of Juju. As if they removed the Juju. She said the husband started calling her. She is the one that used to call him and sometimes he will not pick up. He is the one pos- the husband is the one not pursuing the wife. There are testimonies that only your kingdom service by praise can co- bring it to you. So as you praise God this morning, that testimony will land in your corridor. That testimony will land in your corridor. We spoke about accidents. Now I remember I spoke about accidents. Tanker explosions and all manner of things. And I spoke about boat capsiding. I, we there. I want to speak about something right now. Let's pray for our political leader in this state against premature death. 
or losing of their sons and daughters. Let's pray. Let's pray for them. Because Satan wants to fight them. But Elias, Crossiva is about to receive money boom. The glory that has been lost is coming back right now. If you are that busy, man. Not only Crossiva, Nigeria also. And also me and you. Your family will know that the money has come. Number two. True act of thanksgiving. That's why we are here this morning. When we are about to praise God, don't do big man. Don't put money on your pocket. Thanks to God. I was watching one of the video clips recently. I'm a video better idea. Whenever she comes, she used to sit there. So when they were the girl in place, that they were walking by that. See the way the girl was dancing. Eh? The girl, you know, some people are just so they behave like big woman in church. You know, it's a minister now. I was watching the video. Is it two nights ago? I said, no wonder. When God leaves some people. When, I'm not even that when they come us, we kneel down there when we're worshiping God. I laugh. I watch. I saw one girl. I'm not seeing her again. It was just in her body. <laughs> you know, you might remind me. Here. But I like her. She, she don't look at her and laugh. And was doing dancing her dance. You can go on Facebook. It's on the Facebook. Is it last year? Last year, yes. It's last year. Don't say there. See, you, she carried the chair. As she carried the chair, the girl shift east. If you are normal, you are not for the kingdom. If you are not normal, the kingdom need you. The kingdom is not for normal people. To the heart of thanksgiving and praise to God. Praise to God. One time we were in Shiloh and they were dancing. Papa Ideko brought her his two shoe and put it on his head and he was dancing. What do you want to say? That man has made the president. No matter who you claim on the head, the man has made them. Then brother, calm down. You, you are just meeting a counselor. A chairman. We are in church. Very simple, but I don't like proud people. When I see you very proud, I place you where you belong. To the heart of Thanksgiving. We bless you, Lord. You are holy. And forever you are God. For those who invited three people for the service, if you are here, very soon we are going to pray for you. You come and I'll pray for you. And you are going to see manifestation this week. Also, to the heart of genuine celebration to God. In the midst of your trouble. The Hebrew boys were giving God praise. And God turned their trouble to miracles. Daniel 3, 27 to 30. Romans 4, 18. They were praising God. And God turned their trouble to miracle. God is turning somebody trouble to a miracle today. Are you seeing the way I'm speaking with authority to you right now? God is turning your trouble into a miracle today. God is turning our trouble into a miracle today. A miracle, a miracle, a miracle. If you are that say aloud, they say, man. Finally, through the practice of sacrificial giving, you want to maintain your blessing. Give sacrificially. Maybe when the task is going on, you can drop an offering. That is how to also praise God. Lord, I thank you. Because of that. Lord, I remember the place you brought me from. Lord, I'm alive today. I see you doing a new work in my life. Lord, I thank you for the future I see. Lord, thank you for the future I see. Somebody came to see me from government last week. The husband is a very high placed person in the state. If I mention it, you know, you know them. And when he came to the office to see me, he said, Papa, I've seen you. I don't need anything again. I've gotten what I'm looking for. I said, What? He said, I went to touch the altar. 
He said, I'm very so-so testimony about one of my sisters. I'm very so-so. So, I just come to come and greet you in the office. He said, I touched the altar. I know what he said. You should give a husband commissioner. And when he came, I said, it is done. You know, sometimes there's a function we are into. Sometimes we are inside fire. So when we talk anything, any demon that want to roast that, that want to deliver that, that fire we are talking about, just roast you. Be careful. Who tell, tell anybody that is trying you, they should be careful. Because they don't know the fire that is manifesting to the commission. They can be used as a sacrifice. Our own, our, I said, within 72 hours. No, up to 24 hours. Your husband sent me a test. He said, Pastor, congratulations to us. I have gotten it. I'm not a commissioner. I did not tell anybody in government to say, please, help so soon. In. God forbid. If I try, the, the time I try with somebody, they caught my, they call for me. I know the signal where I will talk to. Once I speak to him, he answer me. When I call him, he answer me. When I call him, he answer me. Oh, my God, no day fail. When I call him, he answer me. I want you to say, man, any robber that is trying to look for your house this week, if they don't run mad, God did not call me. Are you saying your loudest amen? If we speak to rain, rain stop. And we talk to rain, rain they stop. Then what is your own life? Any robber, for be physical robber that want to take your life from you. Maybe accident robbers. Any robber looking for me and you this week. I declare they shall run man in the name of Jesus. They shall run man in the name of Jesus. Yeah, 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 yeah. Are you saying aloud and say, man? He said, greater work shall we do. Greater work shall we do. Greater work shall we do. Any robber that want to rob your children from you. They want to take the life of A woman came here yesterday. You hear a testimony crying. So want to rob her children's life and put him in the prison. Any robber that want to rob you of your good things. That God is doing for you in this season. I declare they shall be struck with madness. They shall be strong with money. Like I did in Calabar, we're going to be seeing some fresh mad people. Anyone who touch any of our member here, whether your uncle, whether your auntie, whoever, that's, that's right, thank you, Lord. There is a man here, they have already used you as a sacrifice. That's why whatever you are doing, you are not doing anything good. Your destiny is just invalid. I declare today, there shall be divine transference. There shall be divine transfer. If you believe me, say your loudest. Amen. Say your loudest. Amen. Let your amen be louder. I want to say this one to somebody. If you go say amen to this, the kind of money you have never seen, the kind of breakthrough you have never experienced, under 72 hours, my God will push it to you. Lift your hand. Lord, I'm just looking over the bar. That you enter your hand this week. Go and tie his hands in the name of Jesus Christ. Hang tie his hands. He tell I am just begin to pray. Pray as you are there. Angels are moving right now. Your day of your day of suffering is over. Receive your anointing now. I need you, oh, I need you. Every how I need you. Oh, bless me now, my sin. They will not rob your children from you, man. Power of the Holy Ghost. I come to the end. Your begging is over. 
I need you, I need you. Want me to receive your healing? Power of the Holy Ghost. I need you. Want me to get pregnant? So rush me now, my Savior. Receive your healing. Come to the... Take it! From east to west. I said there is no other God from north to south. I said there is no other God. God will fight for people. Fight for you, mommy. Fight for you. Fight for you. Fight for you. Fight for your marriage. Father, thank you. You are listening. Take it. In the name of Jesus. There is power, power, wonder, mighty power in the blood of the Lamb. Power, hey, 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 hey. power, on the mighty power in the blood. Oh, oh. Father, thank you, touches our man and give me a If I want you to move evangelism, make sure you are there. May the Lord give you the appointment. What others are struggling from, just receive it. There is power. Power! On the mind. On the land. Come. Mommy, I say be healed. Be healed. Be healed. Let the fire of God flow to you like an electricity. Ah. I pray the Lord give you a testimony this week. It is amen now. Huh? Give you a testimony. All of you, may God give you thanks. Stretch your hands. Every blessing that I preach this month, may your hand carry it. All through this coming month, your testimony will make people to share tears of joy. Are you saying your loudest say, amen? Are you saying your loudest say, amen? Are you saying your loudest say, amen? Every altar of discouragement, altar of discouragement. In your life, in the life of everyone here, it is over. Receive your Lord Jesus. Power of the Holy Ghost. Power of the Holy Ghost. Mama. Little John. I mean, you take a law. All you are releasing now, I'm taking it. So I long the bar. Just get to the tongue. Power is dropping on somebody already. Bring that man. May God give you a miracle this week, sir. May God give you a laughing. May God give you a miracle. May God give you a miracle. Sir, you see my miracle. Sir, you see my miracle. All the things that you have, all the blessings that have missed you for many years. I am prophesying to you. What a mighty God we sir. The Lord is also arresting one lady here right now. The blessing that is coming to you, every altar trying to divert it is over. Power of the Holy Ghost. I feel no. Go and sit on my seat. From today, you'll be sitting with good people. 
bless people. Lift your hands. If you lift your hands, I tell God to give you the kind of child you want. Tell God, this is the kind of baby I want. Angels are distributing things right now. Keys. Lord, okay, let's, let me know that you are receiving the key. Father, at the kind of one of seven, let them receive key. When it is seven, just shall fire. You will see key coming to your hands. We are going to take testimony very fast. Pastor, every of you, get ready. You are receiving key. Drop your Bible, everything in your hands, and just stretch your arms. Lift your hands up, sorry. When I say one of seven, you say, I receive. Somebody will receive key of promotion, key of multi millionaire contracts. We key of financial testimony. Amen. Key of supernatural open doors. Receive that key now. One. Don't worry. God will give you people that will help you. you know, they fail you. Many people have failed you. Is it answering? Many people have failed you. But God will give you people that will help you. Amen. This week, the doors will open. Amen. You'll be shocked. Lift your hands up. Oh. So when I say one of seven, you will put your hand on your head. I receive that key. Some people will be polluting. Some people will be polluting. Now. Don't they go pollute? You go mess. It's a sign of deliverance. Somebody will young young. It's a sign of deliverance. Oh, you yeah, close your eyes. One, two, three, four. You shall not receive. Some people, the power of God will fling you. We fling you. So we can close. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. I receive. Receive that key now. One, two, three, take. One, two, three, take that key. Pow! Key, 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 key. It's dropping. Mantus are dropping. Lava katasa. That's right. They are receiving the key. Take it in your arms. Take that key. Take that key. Take that key. Take that key. Take the key. Take the key. Take the key. Take the key, take hold of man. He tell us she come up. Take the key, 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 key. Take the key, 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 key. key, 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 key. Receive the key. Receive the key. Hold on. Receive the key. Oh. Receive the key. Quiet. Receive favor. God, God, take, take the key. Pow! Receive the key. Quiet. Something's happening. Receive the key. Receive the key. I take that key. I receive the key. I receive global key. Apostolic key. Prophetic key. Key of science and world and deliverance. Be given to me now. Kawaya Shalaba. Lerokova Lava Lava. 
Qui a reçu Receive the key. Just quiet, something is happening already. Close your eyes. Receive the key. My God, that holds the key of David. Open with the earth. Key that will make people not to be laughing at you. They are laughing at you. Tell you to compromise. You are taking key that you don't need anybody. The door will just open to you. He's coming on that man. Who is that man, Lord? Locate that man at the count of one to two. One, two, take. I have come into my season of hope. No. I have come in my season. What is that mean to her? Fire! All over your body now. Fire! In the name of your peace. <laughs> Jesus' name. Is that open door? I have come for the open door. Is our open door? I ask for my open door. Use that key now. Begin to open doors. Don't say anything. Quietly. Open door. Come on. Somebody has just opened the door that you are thinking is not ready. Is our open door? Confirm that you have opened the door. Receive fire. <laughs> Hold on. Hold that lady away. I have come by the open door. It's open door. I receive my open door. Pass me now, my gentle savior. That song is a Asian song. It's a song of power. Yeah, my own will cry. Yeah, that when I die, call No, no, pass me by. Savior. Savior. Savior, yeah. my own cry. Now I know that oh, holy, you are As you get back to your house, as you are leaving here now. You are living here to get your testimony. Amen. You are living here to get everyone that is sound of my voice in this service. Whether you're a baby, a big woman, whoever you may be, I speak by power and authority. You are coming back with your own testimony on Wednesday. Amen. And on Sunday. Amen. And on the first of August. Amen. In the name of Jesus. Amen. Amen. Surely goodness. Return back to your seat. Shall follow me all the days of my life. Surely goodness and mercy. You want to take testimony? Something just touched you. You have a testimony very fast. Come, 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 come. You notice something happened to you in the service. So I can pray for you to perfect it. Uh, come. That is right. Line them up. Just line. Let line it up like this. Come, come, come. You notice they put something in your hand. Who is that person? Come, come. They put something in your hands. Come, come. God gave people visitation. Come and testify. Come, come, come. They gave visitation. Somebody came in with a high fever. Your body is hot. But right now, you notice that your body is not hot again. Maybe it's a baby or whoever is. Touch the baby right now. Unless you are your testimony. Just praise the Lord. She's not that power. I mean, she's okay. Days 
it goes. When apostles say we should pray in the night, I key into it, I, I did it. And then I had an encounter where I was given a car key. And also I was handed over a wine. I started driving that car, and in the midst of, the, in, uh, I'm, uh, as I started driving, I saw some of my friends, some political friends, I, they joined me in that car. I drove them to a place, and it was like a, a, a celebration. So I bought the drink for them um, and handed over the remaining one to one of them, among these four friends. She, instead of ha handing over to others, she decided to dilute the drink and then brought it back to me. I told her, no, I won't take that one that is diluted, but that I asked her to give it to others. So I want to thank God because as Apostle mentioned that key, I just felt something like a, a, a shock on my hand. That's right. And I don't really know that's how that dream started coming. I started remembering all the, the event, what took place that night. I just want to thank God because I know that my season of joy has come. Amen. I, want to, I want to also glorify God because I have been seeing dollars. I mean money. I used to give this revelation, this testimonies in church but i am not seeing it manifesting rather when i put money in the hands of people for one business they will take it but i know there are some businesses that will also yield fruits that i am still expecting that god will do it i am thanking him because since i came to this place there has been joy most of the terrible things happening to my brothers cease my brother when i started coming here he said his name was shortlisted to be a commandant but that something is going wrong i told him he will have it that I know the God I serve. And that when it came, it, though a lot happened, but he was, made, he was given that position. As for my, for my brothers, my younger ones, things are working good for us. God be all the glory. Congratulations. More testimonies are happening for you this week. Yes. Church, praise the Lord. When Apostle was ministering, I don't know what happened. I was just shaking my hand until my watch came out. I was just feeling power where I was. And I saw myself on the ground. I know that God has touched me. What I've been passing through, the illness, the weakness, I know God has given me strength. I say, may his name alone be highly exalted. Every altar fighting your life and my life, they are sentenced to death right now. Amen. Yes. Praise the Lord. On Friday night, I began to ask God what is happening because for almost eight months now, I did my marriage and been trusting God for the fruits of the womb. And all through Friday night, I prayed God, I want to see results. So when I came to church this evening, this morning, God said, I just declared exactly what has been in my mind. And I believe His word because all that He has been saying over my life, each and every one came to manifestation. And I'm turning here today, I have grabbed the testimony. And it's going to come to pass soon as in the name of Jesus. Yeah. Congratulations. Stand on your feet, everybody. And stretch your hands towards this place. Okay, take your seat. Stretch your hands as we take off. Okay, stand on your feet. Oh, how many of you are blessed by the service of this morning? Very surely we are going to praise God. Anywhere you are, you want to give your life to Jesus Christ. Today is your first day of joining us in the service. Wherever you are, I would like you to come to the front and give your life to Jesus Christ. Today is your first day of coming to the church. Or you want to give your life to Jesus Christ. I want you to say this prayer with me. Say with me, Lord Jesus. I come to you today. I am a, are we clapping for them? Say with me, Lord Jesus. I come to you today. Welcome. Uh, I come to you today. I am a sinner. I choose to follow you. No turning back. From today, my life becomes a very life. In Jesus' name. Somebody shout the Lord and say, Amen. Are you blessed, everybody? I feel like we should do some kind of strange ministration now. But let's leave it for next time. But as you are going on your way, even your sleep. In your dream, you will be seeing diverse ministration taking place. Is anybody who normally see ministration? You only see yourself as if you are in our church. Uh, how many people can I have? Come, come, come. Let me see like five people. Please give them mic fast, fast. Who is your mic? From where they are coming. Please take mic now. You have mic there. Yes, we are. Go ahead. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Use this mic, use this mic first, but there's no It's only in the church, yeah. I always see myself. If I'm not walking in the church, I'm in 
the midweek service, communion service. So I want to thank God because that is what has been happening to me ever since I started watching. How many of you normally see that? Okay, again, how many of you normally notice when you leave here as you are going, you'll be hearing my voice? Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Of you, sir. You'll be hearing the voice. Yes, sir. As if fire is burning on your heart. Yes, sir. Oh, boy. Jesus, he's Okay, go ahead. That one is now like a, a, a usual or a daily activity. Most of the night, anytime I sleep or I face difficulty, I just pray. I have a particular fly I keep under my pillow. Once I place my head and sleep, between maybe 30 minutes, I'll just see Apostle's face. Before I know, it's always this logo. I don't know, God is always using the logo. Then I will see congregation. I will see Apostle ministering sometimes. Most times, it will be like angels are the ones that feel everywhere and apostle is busy as in god i don't i don't even know if they are different I, I just want to combine all of them most times they are ministering to him most times he's the one ministering to the congregation most times i see the choir you are seeing when they sing the 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 presence like uh, smoke it will fill the atmosphere there is no night that I will sleep and say, Father, I want to have an encounter. And that's why I started teaching my son every night. There is no how I ask him to pray and I will not tell him, tell God to grant you a divine encounter. And I know that even as he is, God will give him that gift to him. Amen. Jesus. Somebody shout your loudest, amen. Hi, and the children of God, I'll give you all for sign. When I came to the service, as I sat there, altar, I saw the altar, clothed with glory. Hmm. I don't know where... All of you, if I, there's something I will say now, you, if you let, check it, may not see me here. You only clue with glory. I said, you hear that woman? Yes, I hear that woman say, he came. He said, me, I don't come even see you. Oga, okay? the woman is so funny. He said, Oga, okay? I hear waiting to happen from this altar. <laughs> may the altar of this commission give you your own visitation today. Yeah. Okay? You see, Many of any customer that have forgotten your business this week, they will be collecting Kobo, go, 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 go and do business. You say, Amen. Amen. All your helpers, they will be receiving Kobo, go, go and help him, go and help him, go and help him. Amen. Somebody shout the loudest, Amen. Amen. Somebody shout the loudest, Amen. Amen. Church, praise the Lord. I've been having so many encounters. The one that strike me the most is when we wanted to have the noun worship outside. Apostle said we should go and pray. So a night before that noun worship, I was we were outside worshiping, and the heavens opened. Ha. What I saw that day, I was scared. I saw angels. This now they used to say there are mansions in heaven. It's true. Oh. I saw mansions, wide, wide mansions. Angels were flying up and down. I was shouting. I screamed until I wake up from that dream, and I told myself I must partake from that. And another encounter that. God, I don't know. This God is so wonderful. Before my stepfather died, it was in the afternoon after we came for Saturday clean, sanctuary clean. I went back. I just lied down. As I lied down, I saw myself in the church. We were like this. Mama was here. Papa was here. So, Papa said, there's somebody here. You gave somebody money and that person is using that money as a point of contact to come to you. In that dream, he was saying it and I came out. Immediately said it. My sister too was in the church. She screamed. I tell you, make you not give that man money. You know, yeah, go give that man money. Ah, and Papa was praying for me. Yeah, and truly, I gave my stepfather money when I went for elections, when he voted in the polling unit. I did it. So, so when I came, through, when he, my sister shouted, even Mama look at my sister. Mama asked my sister, is it true? But I said, yes. He go give that useless man money. So ever since I came back, I've been having encounters like that. So Papa prayed for me intensively in that encounter. He prayed for me. I was falling and getting up. They were holding me. When I woke up, I was shivering. My body, I was sweating. Yes. And it was not up to a week. The evil man died. God is wonderful. Very wonderful. So God be all the glory in Jesus' name. So all of you are used to notice that. So as you are going now, you will be hearing the voice. Oh, oh, oh. I want you to relax. We are in a season of multiplication. God is bringing them from everywhere. From the north, from the south. In Jesus' name. Brother, put one on your chest. Say, be Lord Jesus, mother, this one. Say, Lord Jesus, I've come to Judea. I am a sinner. Please lay on my feet. Jesus. Please, I want you to go to Judea. Please go to my feet. Look at me. 